lifted its COVID mask mandate two days before the start of the festival. Twinnie Chung and her friends are having a great time. It's amazing. Hong Kong is finally back. You know, no masses. You can really see people. And Twinnie enjoys a wide variety of music by international, regional, and local bands. Everyone's enjoying the music festival. It's live events. Uh, there's a stages around, which is very good. If you don't like one genre, you can always work on to it the next one. Simon Bratch is one of the organizers of the music festival. He's thrilled to bring the event back after four years of not hosting it because of the protests and the pandemic. This year's goal? Remind everyone how what a great big outdoor music festival is about. We're introduced people to live music again. We're able to reach such a broad audience. So our goal is really just to get people excited about concerts and music because that's what we're passionate about. The organizers put together the event in only three months. It was around, towards the end of last year, um, we were able, we felt there was enough confidence that we could run an event with the sort of experience that we wanted, which is attendees being able to move around the site freely, enjoy music at different stages, be able to have F&B. And once we had confidence that we could have that sort of experience, we made the call to go ahead. The three-day festival was sold out the first time in its 15-year history. People in Hong Kong are ready to go and enjoy an outdoor event. There's a fantastic lineup, and it's something a little bit different. There's been some other concerts, but nothing of this scale, nothing outdoors, and nothing with the range and diversity of artists that we're able to offer to people. Hong Kongers are hungry for the return of live events. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the government banned live performances for more than 670 days at bars, nightclubs, restaurants, and hotels since 